I think he's already made really amazing progress over the last two decades. And I think we're a bit further along in bone repair and like anatomically similar bone repair than um, than other types of musculoskeletal tissues. I think there are two main tissues that are really challenging. And um, so one of them is cartilage. And that's the one that I guess um, would be really relevant in a joint kind of aspect that I'm working in, in terms of the osteoarthritis. And the other one that I don't have a particular focus on, but I do know people and I sort of collaborate a little bit in that aspect is on tendons and ligaments. And there is a commonality between those. So cartilage and what's so-called osteochondral tissue. So the tissue in your joints that contains both cartilage and bone. So that is an interface tissue. It has two different tissues connected together. So the cartilage on the top and the bone on the bottom, and that inherently makes it really difficult to regenerate. And similarly with um, uh, tendons and ligaments. So the tendon and ligament itself is like one tissue, like a collagen bundle. And that also is an interface tissue where it undergoes like some kind of calcified thing, and then it connects to the bone part. So it also needs to transition properties. And I think that is really what makes it really hard to regrow. And I think those are the biggest challenges that we face today. And I think and also the fact that with cartilage, the, you know, the fact that it's avascular, so it doesn't really have a vascular supply and it doesn't really have a neural supply either. So the inherent ability of cartilage to regenerate is very low, whereas bone has a ability to regenerate by itself. So I think that's why it's really difficult. And I think um, was Anthony Atala, like the you know, the grandfather of lots of things in <laughs> tissue engineering once gave a talk at the University of Sydney, which I attended, and he worked specifically in cartilage tissue engineering and I asked him this kind of, you know, question and the challenges that we face and are we really close to regenerating anatomically similar cartilage? And he said that we're very far away from it. <laughs> cartilage is notoriously hard to regenerate and he basically said, good luck. Um, I think <laughs> we need to keep doing it, but... <laughs> Um, but it's really challenging, um, uh, notoriously challenging for something that seems quite quite simple compared to some other tissues like the liver or the kidney, for instance. And But I do think that we have a lot of progress that we can make. And I'm thinking that like a multidisciplinary, like cross, even cross-disciplinary approach would be very useful. And that might, again, go back to things like bioprinting, might be integrating nanotechnological approaches so that... Um, and also going down to the really nanoscale level. And this probably ties back to what I was working with um, in terms of the VC, like the extracellular vesicles, the EVs, and maybe adopting some approaches that we previously have not considered. And it might also be jumping out of, you know, this whole thing a little bit and thinking about, for example, advanced bioimaging methods or advanced um, supramolecular kind of analysis methods to really understand like the, 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 you know, the microstructural and the nanostructural tissue um, organization and developmental pathways of these tissues to understand more about the biology before we can figure out how actually we can you know, condition the environment or condition cells to regrow these tissues. And um, and I guess the other thing is also sort of thinking outside the, 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 the box. Um, for example, integrating things like data science and artificial intelligence and like a subset like machine learning to be able to use these algorithms to better optimize, for example, environments or combinations of parameters to be able to find out what is the best way to combine different regenerative parameters, even like cocktails of growth factors to be able to induce the regeneration. I think that's probably the way to go. Mm -hmm.